Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at a camera lens kit for the iPhone, Samsung, pretty much any phone. It's a generic thing that can fit any phone. Now this is made by a company called, let me find the name on here, Victsing. Now as far as I know they're not a well-known company, but there's a reason why I bought this set. Um, because of course these sets have been out for so many years, pretty much ever since camera phones became popular. But the reason why I never bought one is because the wide angle lens on most of them is really, really fisheye distorted and adds that round dark circle. Whereas this one doesn't do that, so that's why I bought this kit. Now it has two types of lenses. You have the wide angle, which is this one here, and then you have the macro lens, which is this one here. And this is actually a two-piece macro lens. So you can have it 12 times, or you can screw on this one and have it 24 times. So let's start with the 24 time macro lens. It comes with these little clips which basically make it a universal fit for any phone. Now this is the weakest part of the design because I feel like these could break quite easily. So what I've heard of people doing is basically clipping them in and then just keeping them clipped in all the time. They take out this red insert, throw that away and then just leave these inside like that so they're always connected and I think that might be a good idea. So putting it on the phone is easy enough. You just basically want to line it up so the lens goes over your existing lens here. So very simple. Just bend the clip, put that on like that, and that should be it. So this is the 24 times macro lens. If I put it over here, where you can see that nail there. Now if I remove this, that's the nail you were looking at. Now you probably can't even see it, right? But if I bring this back, you can see it very clearly. So the macro lens is incredible, the kind of zoom that you can get. Let's try it on this fabric here and see what we get. There you go. You can see each individual strand there. So the macro lens works extremely well. And of course you can also use digital zoom so you can go in even closer. That's pretty incredible, right? As for the wide angle lens, that works the same way. Put it inside the clip, and I'll just give that a little clean with our cloth here because I have my thumbprint over it, and then just clip that over the phone the same as we did with the last lens. My biggest complaint, like I said, really is these plastic clips. I don't think they're really going to last long term. I think if you're careful, they'll be okay, but you really do have to be careful. And there you go. You know, it might look a little bit distorted on camera, but it's actually pretty reasonable. And I will cut in some pictures to show this where I used it outside. The other good thing is that you can actually just hold the lens over it. So for instance, if I pull this off, you can see what the camera normally sees and if I put this over there so that's with the wide angle that's without the wide angle with the wide angle without the wide angle now one of the reasons why I don't use my iPhone for shooting videos is because the angle is so narrow you have to have the camera so far away from the subject <laughs> whereas with this you can bring the camera up much closer and that actually makes this a useful phone for shooting videos so if I go away I don't have to carry a big camera I can just take these lenses and my iPhone so these lenses are really good for that now there is a slight loss in quality when using this I don't know how noticeable it would be on camera but there is a slight loss in quality when using these lenses but you can just fit so much more in like see right now what I can fit in is basically the lens and a little bit of the table but once I put this over I get pretty much half the table so it really is very useful and I find that it's not too fisheye it's not so fisheye that you know it looks ridiculous like a skateboarding video or something like that you could actually use this for a serious indoor videos so this was just a quick review I can't really give you the ins and outs because I'm not a really heavy camera guy but these are the best that I've actually seen you know I, I have played with other ones before although this is the first set I've bought and you know I am actually happy with this set and it's the only one that I'd probably recommend there are probably other ones out there which are good as well but in my experience most of them really aren't that great whereas this one has been good so if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching